Google just launched Gemini for Workspace. It's a new business tool that basically integrates Gemini Ultra One's capabilities into Workspace apps such as Docs and Meet with advanced data protection. It's available in two pricing tiers, which is smart. And the move is expected to strengthen Google's game against Microsoft which has already done something similar with this co-pilot experience for businesses. And that's all good and fantastic. But this week, the tech and AI community both, and we all know they can be lethal, highlighted the strengths as well as the flaws of Gemini, Google's new AI chatbot. Twitter is flooded with posts that include screenshots of odd and very inaccurate responses from the chatbot, suggesting a bias towards diversity as well as wokeness. So tech workers and users have criticized the newer Google AI models for not generating certain historical figures the way that they should be represented, like German soldiers from the 1930s, and for producing very historically inaccurate images, such as depicting Native Americans and darker skinned individuals in context, asking for Scandinavian and European peoples in the earlier centuries. While darker skinned people did live in Europe at that time, their representation as the primary examples by Google Gemini has been deemed very unusual. So ultimately AI providers like OpenAI and Google face a really big dilemma with their closed model. If they make AI too permissive, it risks a lot of backlash for enabling racist and harmful content. But if they overly constrained it, then it draws criticism for ahistrosity and wokeness. So balancing these is a really tight rope walk. Let's see how they manage.